Hello guys and welcome back to And We've Gone Country. As you can see it's getting dark really early now. It's only like, I don't know, maybe, yeah, it's probably 6 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> and Cleo over here finally came home after two days being gone. And she looks much skinnier, or at least more floppy. So I think she might have had her kittens. She's definitely been pregnant. <laughs> Parker's mad at her because she's been gone. Um, she was talking up a storm recently. I thought maybe I could get it on camera. But there you go. I'm trying to follow her because I don't know where she hit her babies. She's definitely been pregnant. Um, and she's still a little fat, but I think that it's just... I think it's just residuals from having her babies. Because she looks a lot floppier than she did before. And um, the nipples are pretty big now, so I'm pretty certain that she's had them. She's very hungry. So, and she's been gone for two days. So my assumption is that she had them and she's hiding them. <coughs> um, the last time that she had babies, she had them right outside this door right here, right there. I don't know if you guys remember the video. Um, but she had them right there and then she had you know, whelping box that we had right here, and then the other cats kicked her out, so she had to go hide them in the barn. Um, and I know she's been kind of gone here and there, so I was assuming that she was probably nesting. You know, I'm trying to find somewhere to put her babies. And um, so she knows where they are, but I don't. And I already have two people from two different jobs that want those babies. <laughs> so I have to know where they are and get them socialized. So they're not too wild to be, you know, trusting of people. And so they can get good adopted homes. Um, but she doesn't trust the other cats because they get angry, obviously. Because it's encroaching on their territory, which is understandable. But, um, and she's being talkative again. So she came out here very hungry. Ravenously hungry. So it seemed like she hadn't eaten in a couple of days. So she probably didn't have time to hunt. And she hasn't been home to eat. So she's probably been with her kittens and having her kittens. <clears throat> now she's taking a little time away from them, but fairly certain that she's had them. Now I have to try to follow her to wherever she hid them. I know, you're very talkative today. Plus she was cleaning herself pretty intensely. She never really leaves her kittens for long. This camera does not like darkness. There we go. There. Let's go to the bathroom. Come on, camera. Uh. There is a flash on here. Come on, flash. Oh, you're still talking to me. Hmm? So dark. Okay, well, <laughs> she wants attention. I don't, you guys really can't see this because it's so dark. What? I know you want my attention. You want to play. <clears throat> That's very all well and good, but I want to know where your kittens are. Yeah, you know, we love people, especially me. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. Did you miss me while you were gone? Hmm? Yeah, you missed me. Now go feed your kittens. We all know you have them. Come on, camera, focus. <coughs> Sorry, guys. The camera is not like me. She's so cute, too. She's like looking up at me and she really wants attention. Yeah. You 
it's just too dark. Wow, camera, come on. This is not that difficult. I already did that. That's what happens when you use an iPhone. Okay, what? You're just gonna play with me all night? I got chores to do. Come on, show me where your babies are. Hmm? Show me where your babies are. <laughs> She's like, I just want to be pet and give it attention. I missed you. Yes, I know. I missed you too. Now show me the baby. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what? I know you're so talkative today. Uh, what? She's looking, She's looking right at the camera, you guys. I know you can't tell it because it's a stupid camera. All right, here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Go back to your babies. No, you can come back to me. Okay. Stop fighting your babies. <laughs> what do you want from me? Okay, here. Let's go over here where we can actually see you. We're gonna play. He's in a playful mood tonight, you guys. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> this is how friendly this cat is. So affectionate. Yes. Such an affectionate kitty cat. And right at the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to get a better shot of you, cat. There we go. Yeah, it's a good video. Look at that cute little cat. Listen to the purrs. <laughs> Just listen to the purrs. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm finally free of those babies. Yeah, but now you have to show me where they are. We gotta get them homes. <laughs> oh, sweet girl. <laughs> she keeps trying to get out of my camera view. Not on purpose, of course. All right, you've been away from your babies enough. Go feed your babies. <laughs> oh, kitty cat. <laughs> She's so affectionate right now. Oh, there's Juno. Yeah, you're such a sweet girl. Your babies are sweet too. Hey, Juno. Hi. <laughs> you're so cute. Yes. So cute and playful. <laughs> you just can't get enough of this, can you? You can't get enough. Yeah. Such a cute girl. Hey, Juno. They do love playing on here. This picnic table is their little play area. <laughs> Gosh. You guys are seeing this, right? She's literally like doing all the petting for me. It's not enough. It's not enough. I know, you feel so relieved now that you've had your babies. Yep. I'm sure you do. I don't know. Maybe she hasn't had them yet. Oh, girl, in it. Oh, are you growling at Parker again? Why are you and Parker not getting along? Hmm? Parker was growling at her earlier, too. What are you doing, Parker? Uh, no. You and Parker don't get along. I don't know if it's because of the kittens. Does he know you had kittens again? Because normally he's pretty friendly to you. It's only when you have kittens that he growls at you. Usually. Where's your kittens, Cleo? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she doesn't have any kittens yet. But, I mean, if you can feel these sides, you guys, like, they feel like there's nothing in there anymore. 
I'm really positive that she had her kittens. I just don't know where she's hidden them. <laughs> Okay, I know you're very affectionate. I know, and we all love you. But everybody wants to see your babies. We want to see how many babies you had, if they're healthy. Ooh, did you guys hear that? Is that why they're growling? Maybe it's just Parker making weird noises. We never know what's out here. Okay, that sounds like Parker. Yeah, that's Parker. Parker, you're scaring me, buddy. Hi, Atlanta. There's a lot of coyotes out here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, cat. You're never you're never gonna get enough of this, are you? Ugh, okay, well, I might have to cut off the video because I do have a lot of work to do <laughs> and this cat is never going to lead me to her babies. She's fully enjoying her break from them and I'm apparently not going to ever find them tonight, so. Mwah, with my baby, I know, I love you. Alright, well that's it for me for, night, for this night. Um, super affectionate cat, the sides are definitely flatter, but she's still kind of hanging. She's very talkative. <laughs> Can't get enough of me. I think she's just plain happy to be free of the babies and to be able to move around and eat and drink and play. I know, you love me. Yeah, I love you too. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, show me where your babies are. Cleo. Everybody wants to know, honey. Alright, I gotta help Andy with chores. Lead me to your babies eventually and we'll, we'll find them. Just wanna make sure that they're healthy and safe. At least you had a good delivery, obviously, because you're fine. And so cute. Wow. Alright, Cleo. Good night. <laughs> Tune in again, you guys. Hopefully we'll be able to find the babies. Two of them are already spoken for, so we better find them. And hopefully they're not going to get hurt. Because I have no idea where she hid them. Alright, that's it for me tonight. Have a good day.